Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So uh, today I'm going to explain you what is uh, nitrogen balance and also to let you know that I'm trying a new thing which is uh, MeO plus. Let's see how it goes, how this lecture goes. So uh, it has like multiple focus and other things. I'm just trying it for the first time. Okay, so the nitrogen balance. So as you can see here in this screen, so nitrogen balance. So it is um, uh, basically the amount of nitrogen that is coming into our body should be equal to the amount of nitrogen that goes out of our body. You know the uh, the nitrogen that comes into our body, it is there in the form of uh, amino acid nitrogen. Amino acid nitrogen is the source of nitrogen that we get in and also the amount nitrogen that is excreted out of our body it is there in the form of urea urea is the major nitrogen excretory product so that means amino acids are the proteins are the major nitrogen source for us and the urea is the major nitrogen excretory product so when we talk about nitrogen balance that means the amount of nitrogen that is coming into our body should be equal to the amount of nitrogen that goes out of our body so the amino acids that are coming into our body the nitrogen that it carries should be equal to the urea that is going out of our body. So, that is when we are in nitrogen balance. So, there is a condition called positive nitrogen balance. So, what actually means the positive nitrogen balance? So, the positive nitrogen balance it is the, uh, the amount of nitrogen that is coming into our body, the amount of protein that we are eating, right? So, it should be more than the amount of nitrogen that we are excreting in the form of urea that is positive. That means, we are retaining the nitrogen. So, the amount of nitrogen that is coming in is less than the amount of nitrogen that is going out in the form of urea. So, that means, what did we do with that nitrogen uh, when we are taking more nitrogen but excreting less nitrogen in the form of urea? What did we do with that nitrogen? That What did we do with those amino acids? That means, we have retained those amino acids in our body in the form of new proteins. So, that is what is referred as a positive nitrogen balance and the positive nitrogen balance we have a conditions here as you can see like during pregnancy when the fetus is growing inside the mother right. So, the uh, more proteins are needed here because the uh, new life is coming up and also so many proteins uh, cells need to undergo multiplication. So, a lot of protein demand is there. So, that is why during this condition uh, the protein intake is more than the protein that is means the nitrogen that is uh, excreted. So, that is the uh, example for positive nitrogen balance and then we have uh, as you can see like childhood our second thing is childhood there. So, childhood what happens is there is a growth and development in childhood right. So, the um, uh, new muscles are coming uh, like now basal growth is there, bone growth is there. So, during childhood so more amount of protein is needed than the amount of nitrogen that is excreted out of our body. Recovery from illness, recovery from illness like during illness right like chronic illness there will be breakdown of muscle protein. So, it is a catabolic condition, illness is a catabolic condition. So, that means muscle proteins are broken down. So, uh, that is uh, um, so recovery when the person is recovering from the chronic illness. So, the rebuilding of those uh, degraded muscles will happen that means the amount of protein that is coming in will be used actually amino acids are used than the nitrogen that is excreted. Bodybuilding as you can understand like now a person is trying to improve the muscle mass. So, during bodybuilding process what when the new muscles are like you now muscle growth is there and all the muscle proteins are uh, synthesized. So, it is a positive nitrogen balance that is why the bodybuilders they take more uh, protein supplements and actually they excrete less urea because it is all consumed. During feeding after starvation when a person goes into starvation remember so the starvation uh, during that particular time so there will be breakdown of skeletal muscle so that means uh, proteins are used for gluconeogenesis. So, uh, during feeding after starvation, so that recovery is going on here like you no know, new uh, the muscle proteins which have been previously degraded. So, they are all recovering now, now they are uh, basically replenishment is going on. So, that is another example for uh, positive nitrogen balance. So, let us recap like what all the examples for positive nitrogen balance. So, we have pregnancy, childhood, recovery from illness, bodybuilding, during feeding, after starvation. These are the examples for positive nitrogen balance. So, now let us move on to see what is the uh, negative nitrogen balance. Now, the negative nitrogen balance it is the 
the amount of nitrogen that is coming into our body is less than the amount of nitrogen that is going out of our body in the form of urea. That means, we are excreting more urea nitrogen than uh, blood urea nitrogen than the uh, nitrogen that is coming into our body. That means, when you are taking when the person is taking less nitrogen, but excreting more nitrogen. So, what it means? It means the proteins that are already present in our body, they are breaking down like you no know, amino acids are released, amino acids are undergoing catabolism and the catabolism of these amino acids. So, the nitrogen present in the amino acid is released as urea made in the liver, right. So, I have a urea cycle uh, video, the link for that video is available down in the description below. So, please watch that video like you not know, the fate of nitrogen and all that. So, what I am saying here is. Uh, during negative nitrogen balance. So, basically what happens is, so the amount of nitrogen that we are taking here in is less than the amount of nitrogen that is going out of our body. That means, we are breaking the muscle proteins, releasing the amino acids, amino acids are undergoing catabolism and the amino nitrogen is going out of our body as urea. That is what is a negative nitrogen balance. Let us see what all the examples for uh, negative nitrogen balance. So, the first one is starvation. As you can see like uh, during starvation, what will happen? During starvation to provide the uh, glucose needs of brain and uh, red blood cells, skeletal muscles will undergo degradation. So, when the skeletal muscles will undergo degradation, that means the proteins uh, carbon part is converted to glucose or ketone bodies, whereas the nitrogen is converted to urea. So, there will be more urea going out of our body and also starvation that means pro, uh, um, uh, like food is not taken in. So, the nitrogen is not coming in. So, chronic illness, uh, second one is chronic illness as you can see during chronic illness what happens? So, it is a stressful situation. So, the protein degradation will go on that means a person is losing muscle proteins and the amino acid nitrogen is converted to urea. So, more urea nitrogen is going out of our, uh, the patient's body then what the nitrogen is taken in. Any other catabolic conditions like stress, trauma, cancer, all these are like you no know, conditions where there is a catabolism of skeletal muscle protein and proteins are breaking down and actually giving all that nitrogen present in the amino acid is uh, released going out of our body as urea. Deficiency of essential amino acids. Now, the essential amino acid deficiency, e even a single essential amino acid deficiency can put a person into negative nitrogen balance. Imagine like you no know, methionine, one of the essential amino acid. And whenever translation has to go on a protein, new protein has to be synthesized, you really need that methionine because AUG which is an initiator codon needs methionine. So, when you do not have a AUG, when, when there is a deficiency of AUG that means there will be um, a breakdown of skeletal muscle to provide that methionine. So, that is why the person can well, uh, there will be increased catabolism of uh, proteins that are going on. Uh, in the person's body. So, that will put a person into negative nitrogen balance. And the third, uh, the last one here in the list is senescence like aging process. Aging process itself will put a person into negative nitrogen balance because skeletal muscle proteins are breaking down here. So, thereby uh, amino acid nitrogen is uh, going into urea formation and the carbon is going into uh, glucose or ketone body formation. So, this is uh, these are the examples for uh, uh, negative nitrogen balance. So, with this, so we have studied uh, positive nitrogen balance, negative nitrogen balance and nitrogen balance uh, as such. Okay. So, this is all about uh, nitrogen balance. So, I hope this video has helped you in understanding this concept and if you are new to this uh, channel, so my video, so uh, kindly uh, consider subscription to this per particular channel so that you get uh, an update as and when I uh, release the video and also you get a notification if you click that bell icon. And also uh, if you found that video, this particular video useful, please share it with your friends and also spread the news. Um, if you have any questions, so put that question in the uh, comment section below. So, when I get time, I am going to uh, answer your question or just put some comment if you like the video or uh, uh, want to share some appreciation or something like that. So, I truly appreciate that. So, thank you and uh, see you in my next video. Uh, video. So, till then you take care.